This AI could replace all of the softwares out there when it comes to coding, and it's called Bolt.new. Now, this is a relatively new project that I've recently stumbled upon that essentially is a combination of other AI coding softwares out there, but is all combined into one. So first off, let me just show you really quick. This is the GitHub. And basically, if we go and read through their uh, readme, what it states is essentially it mentions Claude, for example, VO, and what you can do with those, such as install packages, run backend, or edit code. That's where they mention bold new, which don't worry, I will show you exactly how it works in a second. And essentially, it showcases that it allows you to install run npm tools, etc., run Node.js servers, interact with third party APIs, deploy to production from chats, and then share your work via URL. So you can see some more stuff they mentioned in terms of like tips and tricks. And uh, basically, like all AMOs, they say be more specific. But enough chit chat, let us see it in action. Now, I do want to make some comments, and this is something relatively new. I'm not too sure the team behind this, but when I did have to create an account, it was quite difficult. The way they have like the pop up and stuff was weird, and like it didn't give me some sort of like confirmation. But eventually, I figured out how to sign in, and now we are here. And let us go ahead and see the difference. So I've already ran a test run, but let's just say this. I'll say write code for a real estate website using Next.js and Tailwind CSS. And then I'll say add filler data to showcase uh, houses on, and let's say houses with prices and any other necessary details and then this is pretty much a uh, simple prompts and in terms of additional details let's say maybe it could showcase uh we could add some stuff that's more difficult but for now let's just try this out and uh, basically let's see what it creates so you can see here it's similar to most of these ai prompt tile softwares but uh let's show you the difference here. So the first thing is one, it showcases a code editor. So comparing this to ChatGPT, this is kind of like Canvas, except it doesn't have the option to showcase like different uh, files and pages. In terms of cursor, it's clearly obviously cursor is basically like VS Code, except with AI. Here, this is pretty much the one thing I like, which I was uh, commenting about the other ones is that if they could have like ChatGPT, for example, OpenAI could have this, but with, you know, the files as if like it's VS Code, then that would change the game. But this apparently is what everyone was looking for. And what's cool is you can see there's like a terminal down here with the uh, commands that you would need for like a Next.js project, like npm run dev. And we can scroll down here and you can see that it's actually uh, is running. I don't see the local host anywhere, but it looks like it just automatically went over to the preview. And we can see here, this is showcasing us uh, the details, which look at this. All right, so I've tested out and it has pretty much the same uh, design layout looks like. The only difference is, uh, is this menu has like icons now. But take a look at this. This is actually pretty crazy because the thing is, if you don't code or never trade something like this, I've made a website before with React simple, or I'd say very similar to this like layout, obviously had more details, but just to make something like this uh, from scratch is one takes hours, let alone having the ability to do this. Now, in terms of this uh, template, I'm not too sure if this is like a copy and paste, because if I were to go to like ChatGPT or uh, Claude or whatever, I'd have to test it out in another video, but as of right now, what this allows you to do is like you could literally see right here, and then it has this option to deploy, which I'll um, test out in a second. Uh, I believe it shows with Netlify, so I don't even know if how it's gonna do it without linked, but we'll try. We'll try it out to see what happens. But basically, you can see this entire uh, file for their code. So, for example, here's the layouts, and we can see here I'm looking at the actual code, and it is using link, which is good to see because when I tried this uh, 
with uh, ChatGPT Canvas, it was using like a tags in between. It was just like not, it didn't work, right? But here we can see we have the page and this is showcasing the filler data. So this obviously is, I asked it to use, you know, uh, hard coded information, but I'm sure if you were to test that with API, I'm sure it could probably, or at least I would assume it could do something similar. But in terms of this code, I mean, it looks, looks decent here. Then we can see our components. We have all these components here. And in terms of the code, I'm not gonna spend too much time in the code, but I just wanna show you the features, which I think are pretty cool. And let me check the package JSON, see we got everything installed here. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff here. And then, yeah, we got everything like this. And we got even, they got like some other stuff in here that's interesting, okay. But let's go back to the preview. Now let's try this out. So first of all, let me see what happens when I click on like uh, another nav. So a little strange to use like icons and stuff. But um, so here what happens, okay, it shows there's a problem. And let's just see, let's click fix problem and see what does this do. Uh, ideally, I would assume it would, um, let's see, Kraven created a search page. So this is, okay, this is kind of like Cursor. So this is actually, this is really cool actually. So Cursor, if you haven't used, it uh, has the ability where you can like apply the code and fix it, but for this, okay, let's try this now. Looks like it's the, okay, same thing. Let's try to hit search. Let's see if this does it. Okay, look at this. This is actually kind of insane. Like this is actually, no, this is really incredible. And uh, the one thing they didn't see, or maybe I didn't read it is what, I don't know what the frequency of uh, how many uh, responses you can type, or I don't know if, I believe there was like a premium version they're talking about. Maybe, I don't know, sure. Right now it looks like it's free to use, but obviously there's like a limit, I'm sure. But uh, let's see if, um, this is what I wanna see is I wanna say, I wanna see if it can do this. If it can do this, this is gonna be, this is gonna be in incredible. So I'm gonna say, add more house cards uh, up to four per page and then add pagination up to three pages so in total there are 12 house cards on three separate pages with the ability to uh let's say click to the next page and go back so i mean obviously pagination that's what it means but um if it can do this then this is going to be insane so i want to see if this is even possible first of all now I'm sure, uh, actually I haven't tested this out with the other AIs, but I'm sure I could probably have a similar result due to the fact that it could find like a pagination code online. But um, let's just see if they can do this. So the thing I think right now, this is the, uh, the I'd say the cons, let's, let's critique some stuff. Cause first is this is relatively new to my understanding. So a lot of these features are stuff that I've not seen combined with other uh, platforms, but right now it looks like it is quite slow for this particular response. But um, I mean, sure, I'm sure they could improve if they uh, the uh, just more updates. But let's see if this actually works. Let me see the code too. I want to see the code. Uh, let's see, did it actually update anything? I'll have to check. Yeah, not too sure yet. Let's see. Let's go to preview. Okay, so unsupported server components. Okay, let's see if it can fix. Let me see what happens when I click this. Okay, just to, okay. So let's do fix problems. And let's see if it can actually fix this. Cause this is something that is actually, like if you were to manually code it, if you've never done it before, it does take some time to figure out because of just the way uh, you have to like create more data basically. And then you have to uh, filter and through all of it. It's just stuff that you could do easily if you knew it, but I want to see if AI has the ability to do this because that would be actually insane. So while this does take some time to load, uh, one thing I want to make a comment on is that while this is quite insane to have like the ability of basically like a ChatGPT plus a uh, code editor plus the ability to see it live and then potentially deploy, which we haven't tried yet, but if that works, then basically um, that would be insane. However, the competition, obviously if they see that this company is like killing the game or something, 
I would not be surprised if they just added that feature to it. Because the thing is for like cursor, I mean, you do have VS Code already, you're using it. But I mean, what, what's stopping them from making an update similar to like this feature? Or even like, for example, OpenAI, what, what's stopping them from making Canvas into pretty much this, this exact thing? Because Canvas is basically, it's almost like this. It's basically this. It's missing the the files in your uh, your editor and then like this terminal feature. But then again, OpenAI has, I think, a ton of money. I know exact number. I'm not going to comment, but they have lots of money raised. So wouldn't be surprised if they could do it. Okay, so is showing preview update it's still showing some loading so maybe okay now we have four look at this this is crazy okay now the question is if i hit um page two let's see okay so what only thing it looks like is just missing the pictures which is not a big deal or maybe the um, the ones that it sourced aren't uh connected but either way look at this like this is actually crazy, bro. Like you have no idea. Cause when like one of the first projects I started learning, like when I first learned code was literally like how to do something like this. So that means like, let's see if I can go to page three, nothing breaks. Yeah, you can go to page. Okay. So it's still not even finished. It looks like it's still, was still loading yet. It still was working. So let's see if this new update fixes it. So the images, what, what page am I on? I'm not sure what page I'm guessing one. The only thing is the images aren't working. Uh, but anyway, let's go back to the code. It did what I wanted to do. I think the, the problem is like, look at this. Okay, so what happened is it it just added, uh, what is that? Uh, three, no, four, eight. Yeah, basically it added like nine more uh, like hard-coded uh, data in here. So the only problem it looks like is just it's using Unsplash photos, which are like public um, royalty free. And uh, it looks like they're just not loading. But look, that's that's kind of crazy. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of more complicated features that I could go and mess around with this, but as of a first impression, this is actually pretty cool. Like, to ability to preview it, to check the code. The one thing I'm not sure I don't see is, uh, I don't see how I can get this code like onto my VS Code. So it maybe I'm sure there's a way to do it. Maybe if you deploy it, let me try it. Actually, let's do that. Let's deploy this. And let's see where it runs. Like, is it on their account or is it going to ask me to log into Netlify and attach my, I'm curious how this is going to work because uh, if it doesn't make me like, uh, if it doesn't make me like log into the Netlify accounts, then I'm curious, like who's hosting this, but we'll wait and see. We're about to find out. Uh, let's see. Cause I didn't log in with like GitHub or any of that stuff. I just, uh, I just use like an email pretty much. So right now I don't see any, uh, if it's going to deploy to Nellify, that means that I means I can copy this link. Yeah. So it added it to Nellify. Why is claim your real bar? You want me to claim this project? Interesting. So it's using a, uh, so here, let's check this out. And then there's this like this claim. So let me see what happens when I click on this claim. Hopefully this link isn't bad. And it's like an actual thing, which again, this is AI. So you never know, but do be careful when you see like links on stuff. Don't just click randomly, even though I just did. <laughs> uh, hopefully I didn't get, uh, I click a bad link. Okay. Yeah. So tell me to log in, which looks like if I'm gonna click um, here, let me make sure this is legit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure if you actually logged in, I'm sure you can um, deploy. But anyway, look at this. We made this entire application, which I'm not playing. Like if you were to code this yourself, uh, I think the only hard part would be going to like an actual API, which I don't think that's even that hard. You just add the API key and then you just fill the change all these with like the data points. But from from like beginner, like first timer to make something like this takes like a couple days to learn it. Maybe longer if you know you're still learning from scratch. And we just created a literal, wait, hold on. Is it actually, okay, that's 350, 350. Is it not working? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Am I tripping or is the data not, is the data the exact same? So I think, okay, that could be tricking you. Hold on, let me make sure. I'll make sure by looking at, okay, so this one's 35, 55, 27, 12, 
Hmm. Okay, so that's interesting. So ID five should be eight fifty. So when I go here, page two, it doesn't look like it's working. Which I'm sure I could fix that. But I mean for for tutorial's sake, I don't think it really matters, but just do do keep that in mind. If you never code it for, you can just make sure you're actually looking at it. Cause I didn't even realize it didn't it's not actually working the pagination. It's just like refreshing it back to the top. Even though on the URL you can see See, like it didn't change. Why is it not changing the, it changed up here, the URL, but the problem is the actual data didn't change. So I think, uh, yeah, that's strange, but I'm sure you, if you knew code, you could easily fix that. It's not a big deal. But the fact that you could do this all within this um, AI software is kind of crazy. And this is what, what, like a couple prompts. So as a first impression, this is kind of, kind of incredible. This could, basically replace the other ones, assuming they make the code more accurate. And obviously they, I'm sure the limit, I'm not sure what it is, but if they increase that, then yeah, this could be game changer. Yeah, the only thing I don't see is how can I add this to my own project? Without me having to go in here and like copy and pasting. And then also I haven't read like the license on what's, um, like who owns this stuff in terms of like the copy, the copy, but I believe that this show, if you were to do commercially, there's like a different plan, but anyways, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Aside from that, like and subscribe for more videos.